Hi, and welcome to the Solve 64 Casino. Let me interest you in a game. There are five piles of coins with one to five coins. You can take as many coins out of a pile, then I'll do the same, and we'll continue until they're all gone. The person who takes the last coin wins all of the coins. Step 1. Seeing the coins. So we can start off with the XY coordinates of the bottom left coin here, so the blue dot and it's 398 and 957. We can get the number of pixels going between each of the columns and each of the rows. We'll name those DX and DY, which are 41 and 36. Next, we can make a function get board, and we can have board as a length five list, all with zeros to start with. We'll take a screenshot, iterate over the different columns, and how many blue dots or coins should be in each of the columns and we'll get the xy coordinates of those. We'll get the pixel color at that position, doing board index c plus equals 1 if it's blue, plus 0 if it's white, will give us the total count of the coins in each of the columns. So let's try that out. I'll run this, and it gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that's what we're wanting. I'll remove 3 from there, and the computer removed some there. I'll try running it again, and we get 1, 2, 3, 2, 2. So it seems like everything's working so far. Step 2, choosing the winning move. So next we have the function solve. We pass in the board of length 5, and we iterate over the five elements, take a backup of them, and call it value 0. We'll have value 1, which we'll try from 0 through the value 0 minus 1. We'll set that index C equal to value 1, and we'll check if something called nim sum is equal to 0. If so, we'll return the column and the new value that we tried for that. So we have a function nim sum, and we pass board to it. We start result equal to 0, and then for each of the elements in board, we take the result XOR the element in board, and we do that for all of them, and then we return the result. So exclusive or is a bitwise function, and it checks to see if, basically if the two values are different, if they're both 0, or if they're both 1, then that will return 0. If 1 is 1 and 1 is 0, or 1 is 0 and 1 is 1, then that will return 1. So with that, the winning strategy is making sure that the nim sum or the XOR of the board is equal to zero for the move that you make. Step three, taking the coins. So now that we know which column to take the coins from and how many to take, we can define a function click and we first ensure there's a solution. And if so, we'll get the X and Y coordinates and then we'll call pyautogui.click. And lastly, we'll put a while loop here, and we'll first get the board, check if they're all equal to zero. If so, we'll print game over and break out of the loop. Otherwise, we'll solve the board, get the solution, call click, and then sleep for three seconds to allow the computer opponent to make their move. So let's watch it in action. So that's it. Support me on Patreon if you enjoy this content. Let me know if you have other games to make solvers for. Thanks.